Welcome to my channel. This is JC Rock and Metal Reviews. Uh, my name is John. Today I want to pay tribute to an artist who uh, just passed away. Uh, his name is Dusty Hill. He was from the band uh, ZZ Top. His real name is Joseph Michael Hill and he was born on uh, May 19th, 1949. He passed away in his sleep at the age of 72 and he passed away today which is July 28th, 2021. He was the bass player, keyboardist, and vocalist of uh, ZZ Top. So ZZ Top was formed in 1969. A lot of people remember ZZ Top from the hits of the 80s, but uh, they actually had a number of albums released throughout the 70s. Their first album was called uh, ZZ Top's first album. It was released in 1971. And some of the most notable albums from the 70s include uh, Trace Ombres from 1973. And this one has the song La Grange and Fandango from 1975, and that one has the song Tush. But in the 80s, they become like, they became uh, MTV superstars, and after they released their album Eliminator in 1983, and this one has all their big hits, such as uh, Give Me All Your Lovin', Sharp Dressed Men, and Legs. After that, throughout the 80s, they released some, some more albums. They were very like uh, 80s sounding albums. You know, they did change their sound to you know, fit what was popular during that time. But they were uh, very popular albums. Seems in the 90s, they uh, released a bunch of albums. And into their 2000s, they continued releasing albums. Their last one was called uh, La Futur in 2012. And that was uh, their last studio album that was released. But supposedly there was another album that they recorded. And hopefully that does see the light of day and hopefully very soon. So in total, uh, ZZ Top has 15 uh, studio albums. Uh, they've been inducted in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2004. Dusty Hill is a music icon. You know, the news of his death was very shocking. He's actually like the third musician to pass in like a span of like two days. Uh, the others being Joey Jordanson of Slipknot and Mike Howe of Metal Church. That's all. I'm going to keep this video very short. I might be doing a couple others tonight. I um, actually uh, recently reviewed a solo album from uh, his ZZ Top bandmate, uh, Billy Gibbons, that was released not long ago called Hardware. I'm going to put a link to that right over here. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back uh, in a little while with another video.